The air in the illusion with a mark's enchantment shattered, the illusions around you dissipate. The way deeper into the illusionarium is open. The air suddenly shifts from tropical heat to bitter cold. It is as if you were teleported leagues away, rather than just having a walk with your feet. These arches have signal crystals attached on top. Are they simply decorative? With House Fjarlund, one can Though you can see the rest of Stormreach through the skylights above, the light from outside does not reach this room. The only illumination comes from phosphorescent mushrooms. The Mark of Shadow created copies of itself. They must be illusion. That must have been the real Mark. The illusionary ones, unlike the previous room, this place feels like it's baked in sight. That scorpion completely enveloped the Mark of Shadow. You will need to destroy it in order to get at the Mark. The destruction of this make-believe scorpion has also extinguished the Mark of Shadow. The illusionary barrier is gone. The marks of shadow around this chamber are restoring the illusionary giant's health. run through the gauntlet of House Fjarland's Illusionarium, but you still need to enter the Chapter House and stop the Maleficent Cabal's attack. The Fjallin Chapter House must have been closed as a precaution during the Grand Gala. The ballroom is on the far side of the Chapter House, and it seems rather unlikely. Next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the Illusionarium. 
The Chapter House Theatre normally hosts stage plays for Fiorland's elite patrons. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. The illusions in this display hall don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the illusionarium. They probably won't attack you. Hopefully. You finally reach the House Fiarlan Grand Gala. Now, to find the guest list and add Cyan's name. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf. These guards are supposed to protect the Grand Gala, but they only have eyes for the old elf. They are obviously not in their right mind. Could they be under a carnival spell? With the Spellmaster's death, anyone under his evil mental control has been set free. One of the drink servers looks like an elf, but you see through her disguise to the glowing red eyes of her true tiefling form. 